fourth grade. Welcome to our week 14 number talk series. Um, we're going to be focused on subtraction strategy, keeping a constant difference. And it's just that. I mean, just that idea of, remember, when you're subtracting two numbers, it's the difference. Because it's the minuend minus the subtrend, which your answer is the difference. So in this situation, we're going to impact the minuend, which is 132. So we're going to say, well, we're going to subtract 2 from that to work with 130. So as long as we do the same thing with the subtrend, we subtract 2, the difference stays constant. And we can look at the answer and say, oh, that's 35. Now, I, also, I think it tends to be easier to use this strategy when you actually focus on the subtrend first and you do an addition component. So let me show you what I mean. So if we have 132, and we're saying that we find the difference of that in 97, but instead, let's add 3. That makes 100. Let's add 3. That makes 135. When you subtract the 2, that's a difference of 35. So to me, of, of doing a constant difference, I personally think that's the easier way to do it. But again, personal preference. And also the numbers you get too. I, mean, I guess that's a fair way to say it too. The numbers can play into it. But even then, I think the addition part, when you look at the subtrend first, not the menu, it makes a big difference. Let's, let's try it. So, 259, 187. So let's try that first. So the subtrend, let's work on making this in, in a landmark number, an easy number to work with. So let's make this into 190. Let's add 3 there. Let's make this into 2, 62. We subtract the 2, we have a difference of 72. Now, we can also try if there where we're doing the subtraction. So let's look at... Actually... Let's look at it even another way um, within this. What if we said we weren't we weren't worried about the well we could do this with the subtrend. We could subtract seven. Subtract seven. Get this down to one eighty. Get this down to two. Sorry, that's supposed to be one. 80, not 187, my fault. Get this down to 252, and then again we subtract, we'll be left with an answer of 72. Again, that's another way you can look at keeping a constant difference. We also can look at 171, 148. I'm going to focus on the subtrend again. So I'm going to add 2, so that's 150. Add 2 to the minuend. 173, when I subtract 2, we find a difference of 23. Or, with our 171 and 148, maybe we want to subtract 1 and subtract 1. So that would give us 170. That would give us 147. I don't know about you, I don't know if that helps me. Um, because the barring aspect necessarily. So for me, what I actually might do in this situation is instead of just taking one away, I actually look at it this way. What if I did 171 lose 2? And I did 148 lose 2. Because now 171 minus 2 is 169. 148 lose 2 is 146. Now if you notice, there's no need to borrow. 9 minus 6, 16, well, 6 minus 4. So you're going to get that answer of 23. So as you notice, as I'm playing around with the numbers, I'm just showing you a variety of different ways of using and keeping a constant difference. Um, you know, see what works for you, and enjoy the opportunity to explore a new strategy.